turned your eye. I know there was that moment where a fellow British athlete, he had to deal with a tiebreaker in the men's 60 prelims. Did you see that? No, I Did didn't. No. So, I'll, so uh, David King, Great Britain, he and yeah. Japanese athlete Nomoto, they both ran 757, which was actually 756.5 and yeah. in different prelims. But they only one person could make the final because there wasn't enough lanes. So they had to do a drawing out of a hat. Uh, you can see here them doing the official drawing. How would you react if you knew your fate of making a final was coming down to a name being drawn out of a hat? And luckily here in this situation, uh, King got selected. But how would you feel? I, I mean, to be honest, like if that was really happening, and that was the solution of like getting in or get, not getting in. I've got it. I've, yeah, I'm not sure. The emotions, I probably would have walked away being like, I'm not fucking, like, I'm not going on a 50 50 right now. It's not going to happen. Um, I, I, I just wouldn't have to take that. I can, but the thing is, we don't, we don't deal with lanes like they do. You know, obviously in the yeah. 60 hurdles, you can't exactly share a lane. Um, so that's, that's just the crazy situation, I think. The, They've got to be another solution than to pull a bib from the bag. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, I guess it doesn't happen often enough to feel the need to make a solution because the ultimate solution yeah. would be develop better timing technology that goes to the 10,000th of a second, right? It's because, you know, there technically is no such thing as a, a true tie, right? There's always a, mo like a millis, you know, a dillisecond between two people, right? So. I guess that's the ultimate they, solution. Could they go back to the uh, reaction time or something? Maybe do something about like when the person actually started. There you instead go. Instead of from the gun time. Yeah, use a reaction time as a tiebreaker. I like that. Reaction time as a tiebreaker. You know, yeah. it's like like in cross country, they like whoever has the best sixth man, you know, wins a tiebreaker. Yeah. You know, or something like that. So I like that. I do also think. The ultimate way to solve it is always prepare for a tie and basically always have a ninth lane on any track, including. Yeah, I think so. Then, I think that's got to be, it's got to be a solution. Yeah. We just need to build a ninth lane. Yeah. You can see here, they could have put a ninth lane. Look, there's room. A little yeah, they got extra space there. Just paint they some lanes on there. They could have manufactured a ninth lane. Just move everyone out to the right a little bit and then just have someone run in Easy. the red. That'll be fun. Get a little masking <laughs> tape, a little uh, trainer's tape, set it up. They should do that. That would be it funny. Would be I mean, they could have split the final into two or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. There's definitely other options. But bag from a hat doesn't seem right. I don't know. I just don't. I agree with you. That would be the worst thing ever. Uh, but yeah. I, think, I think if they had the choice that they would – you know, instead of letting one of them in, let neither of them in, and they can both race themselves uh, as a separate final or something. I don't know. But that's, I mean, that's tough. That yeah, sucks. It is. <laughs> it sucks. Uh,